guys, I'm Laurie Vitali. On this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen, I want to share with you a beautiful cauliflower gratin. I figured it's a wonderful addition to your holiday table or to any table because it's so good. It's got all that like cheesiness that we love, um, but it's using cauliflower instead of potatoes. But it's so easy and so delicious. You are going to love it. The list of ingredients is quite short to be honest. You're going to need some cauliflower. This was just one big head of cauliflower that I cut the florets in just about the same size. I need some whole milk, some sharp, extra sharp cheddar. This is the cheese that I like the best, but you use whatever you want. Unsalted butter, flour, I've got nutmeg, some dry mustard powder, parmigiano reggiano, salt and pepper. And you're also going to need a couple of additional ingredients that I'm going to share with you when the time comes. Okay. First thing I've got is my oven preheated to 400. I am going to actually, before I make my sauce, I'm going to go dump, dump <laughs> my cauliflower. Now what I have back there is a large pot filled with water. I added a pinch of salt and I have that up to a boil because I am going to add my cauliflower and I'm going to let that cook for about six minutes or so, no longer than that, six minutes. And then I'm going to drain it and put it back into the same pot and let that sit there while we make the cheese sauce. So I'm going to go, um, Add this to the boiling water and come right back and make the sauce. Now while the cauliflower cooks for six minutes, I am going to make my sauce. This is just a classic white cheese sauce, like a, a bechamel. It's really lovely. It's going to coat the cauliflower so well and when it bakes all together with a crispy crust, so good. Don't you love the holiday season? I mean, come on. I'm, I'm one never to apologize for cooking things I really love, uh, but no better time to make something rich and indulging than the holiday season, in my opinion. I'm just waiting for my butter to melt completely, and then I'm going to add the flour. That's good enough. Adding the flour, get it all out of there. And you want to cook this just for about 30 seconds or so, or until you can no longer see any raw bits of flour because you don't want your cheese sauce to taste like wallpaper paste. You want it to be lovely and creamy and luxurious and just smooth and delicious. So that's why you cook it until it looks like that, which is perfect. I am going to add the milk, add that right in. And now I'm just going to cook this for about, this is going to take about five, six minutes or so. It should take about the same time as the, um, cauliflower. You want this to get nice and thick and then we'll season it, we'll add the cheese to it and then by that time the cauliflower will be drained and we'll pull the whole thing off together. Sauce is nice and thick. I'm going to turn it off at this point. I am going to add my cheese. It's going to be phenomenal. You add any cheese you want. I like a really sharp, strong cheddar. Lots of parmigiano. My timer is up. I'm going to go drain my cauliflower in just a second. Parmigiano, as much or as little as you want. Good pinch of dry mustard powder. Fresh nutmeg. Not a lot to make this taste like a dessert, but enough to really make... It just... I can't even explain it. You don't taste the nutmeg, but it makes a difference. Just trust me. Black pepper. My mother would use white. She's not here to tell me what to do. Isn't adulthood fantastic? And then a pinch of salt. She is watching this, so she's probably gonna get mad. A good pinch of salt. And now I'm just going to stir this to melt the cheese and distribute that mustard and everything. And then I'm just gonna let it sit because nothing's gonna happen to it. And I'm gonna go drain my cauliflower and pull the whole thing together. Pour your cheese sauce all over the top. I have such a love affair with with the uh, cheese sauce, it's not even funny. It's like, I don't know what it is. It's, it, it's good, it's good stuff. Okay, then give everything a good stir. You wanna make sure the cauliflower is well coated. Pop that right in there, casserole dish like so. Now it might look like your cauliflower isn't fully cooked yet, and it's not. But the point about this is that it's going to go in the oven for a while, so you don't want your cauliflower to be like mush by the time it comes out. You want it to be lovely and delicious, but not mushy. You still want it to have some texture. Okay, so you've got that. All right, so now you need another good layer of parmigiano. 
And then to give it crunch, I've got some fresh bread crumbs. I just made them by pulsing a couple slices of um, just sandwich bread in my food processor. A little bit of dried parsley and a tiny bit of butter, just like a tablespoon, not a whole lot. Give that a toss. You want to just make sure the butter is coating some of that bread, if not all of it. It doesn't look like it's going to go a long way, but trust me, it will. And then I just like to sprinkle this over the top like so. Now this baby just needs about a half hour or so in a hot oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, popping this in, letting it get nice and golden brown on top, and I'll show you what it looks like when it is done. My grand tan was in the oven for exactly 25 minutes. I have let this cool for about 15 minutes now because it was bubbling when it first came out of the oven, which you might want to bring it to the table like that because it is like exciting to look at. But I am just beyond excited for this. Beyond! Oh, look at that. You see that beautiful coating? And as this cools, the sauce is a little loose now, but as it cools, the sauce will thicken. This is just still really, really hot, but the um, cauliflower is perfectly cooked. Hot. Mmm. That is heavenly. I wanted the crunchy piece though. There we are. Let me cut this a little bit. Wow, it's like bringing me t to tears. It's so hot. And you know that's saying a lot if it's coming from me. <laughs> mm. This is so good. Perfectly cheesy. The cauliflower still has fantastic, fantastic texture. That crispiness on top, it is definitely worthy of being on a holiday table. Get this recipe at lauraindikitchen.com. Let me know down below some of your favorite cauliflower recipes, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.